Hi everyone, welcome to part two of the Radeon Pro Render Arcviz project. Um, in the last video, I looked at some sky lighting in the marketing suite, and in this one, I'm going to be looking at HDR lighting. And the HDR I'm going to use is from Matt Kellett's. Um, they're 10K HDRs, but the main thing about them is they have excellent dynamic range. And I'd rather take dynamic range than resolution, especially for this project. So I've thrown it into the material editor and I've instanced it to the environment scene in the pro render one. We're in active shade mode and hardware wise we're rendering on rendering on both pro duo cores again. Uh, haven't altered have I altered? Yes I have and I've adjusted the gamma to 1.2 just to bring out some sharp shadows. So if we hit the render button, let's see what we get. Uh, Matt's HDRI is also pre-calculated, so should come in roughly the same exposure levels as a Southern Sky setup. This is where Max 2017 crashes, because of course it does. No, it's made it through it. Miracles do happen. And there we are. There's the HDRI westly facing. It's bringing out some nice rape lighting on the tiles. It's just about to see the, the um, floorboards come up. Now we've got some massively overblown areas here. so. And that's due to adjusting the gamma. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock that down to 0.3. And that should re-render any time now. There we go. Adjust our camera to a different position. We head over to the soft seating area. And let's bring that HDR around. Get some of the light cast across that. crashed again, no, 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 oh, nearly. There we go. As it's 7.15 in April, probably likely to have those lights on, so let's turn that on, light shape visible. The other options you've got, you've got backplate in, reflections and refraction overrides. Um, but that really is about it. See you in the next one. 